from a more practical standpoint today for people, let's say, that are doing 20 kg body weight up to 125, 130, how many diets would you be comfortable with? Yeah, that is something that may change depending on how you have your feeding programs. If you have diets that you always have antibiotics or you have another type of feed additive then you're going to use in your last diet or other additives or antibiotics that you need a withdrawal program, that can always affect the number of phases because you know you're going to have a phase just for that specific strategy. But uh, I think we should be comfortable around four phases unless you need to have another phase um, for that. Uh, and, and then in, within each system, it's important to assess maybe three would work also. Yeah. I mean, I agree. Why, why not two? Yeah. I think two is also something that could work. Uh, the research showed exactly that, uh, is just that people have to understand if we have everything possible in our system to deliver that, uh, if we have too much variation in in, in the starting weight, uh, maybe we have to formulate just a little bit higher on lysine, but it's possible. We just don't want to be as aggressive all the time when we restrict the number of phases. So that's why I say it, it may be different from each system and how you formulate, but definitely we could feed for uh, two diets, moving from four to two and get to the same result. Uh, if we know that all the things in the system are in place uh, for that.